that's water. Seventeen inch, not that one. Fourteen. So what I'll do is uh, do a bunch of wheels, just so that I, I like to do a load, but today I had to deal with the truck, the new van, working on the deal. And I got the kids uh, stuff for their wedding, that's taking my time, I'm trying to find a venue. I can do 10, 10 for now. Try to do a little bit smaller ones here, a little bit easier. It's a temporary. This one's a temporary too, but. I'll do, try to do 10 and then do some uh, stripping something else after just because the compressor's a little bit noisy. I asked, uh, I went to Summit Tools, bought a bunch of tools, but uh, what I did is I asked if I could put two compressors onto one line. They said they can, but it, they didn't have the adapter. So, <clears throat> some of the things I brought. You always gotta constantly buy tools. So I'm missing one one bit here, that's why it's metric set. Another cutter. Burn that cutter like that. I mean, it's not bad for wires. I said I was gonna buy another impact. So I have two. Because the other one is I keep twisting my my uh, wrist. These maybe I can use for microwaves, if that's the right bit or not, I'm not sure, but it's that similar bit. Extension. Bit there. I bought one of these blowers too, we use for the house. And some more bits here. So that's like the same one I have. Compact. Nice. 150 bucks. Expensive this thing with no battery. Crazy. Okay, a few little toys. Okay, um, we'll try the first wheel. I don't know what size this one is. 16. We'll try. We'll try the first one. The first one's always a pain to do, but. Maybe we'll get lucky. So we'll see what happens. The temporaries don't have any balancing. There should be no lead on there at all. It's gonna be high pressure. These could be like 80 pounds pressure. 60 psi. The tail's pretty high. You know, if it goes really good, I might do more. We'll see. See what this load does. Could be hard, could be easy. These are hit and miss. It's a good solid amount of rubber. Hmm. 
Uh, Tire is too hard. Doesn't want to do it. That's the problem with those tires. You can tell it's a really old tire. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like hit and miss. And always the first one he gets. The crappy one. Okay, well, see what happens this tire. That one, like I say, it's just like it's so hard, it doesn't want to flex the rubber. That's the problem with these tires. When they get really hard, they're really tough to break. here
Yeah, but I use that. I know, I, I use it. For a workbench. Okay, let's see what happens. That's a really soft tire. Really soft. Okay, I'm going to keep going there because it's boring after all like it's too many okay, okay, I did 10 already Whew. one I have to cut and I have to cut one and one on the bead I have to cut the bead a bit only on one side this tire was a little bit hard to come off so it wasn't too bad It's full of water. It makes it so much heavier. Hopefully it doesn't stick to the rim. Probably why I leaked in there is because the valve is missing. See, the sidewall is soft, that's why it's harder to come down. Wasn't too bad. Can we keep doing more? Okay, we're gonna try to do. Uh, we did 19 already. We're gonna try to do um, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27 maybe. Six. 
try to do 27, there'll be 20 left. I already cut three off already. They're 17 inches. And that spare tire, so let's do 17 on one spare. Maybe I can wrap my HMS up tomorrow. It would be nice. And then I can dump it Thursday or Friday. Some of those 17 inch rims are super heavy. Like really heavy. Got to be like 40 pounds. And some cut actually really easy. Surprising. You just don't know what you, what you get. I'll do this. Might be hard, but the last one was a little bit tougher, but we did get it. This one's full of water too. Okay. Well, this is very heavy too, that lead. We'll wait after, see. Sometimes it goes all the way down, sometimes it doesn't. Either higher or low air, it doesn't matter. It just maybe jams or something. Cylinder jams or something. Okay. moving I know one the small one I'll probably have to cut off for sure I think there's some lead in there but they're some are really tiny I don't know if you were taken off, but came off. I think if I was doing this 24-7, I'd be bored. If you work in a shop, just that's why they have the rim crushers on those scrapyard places. You want to take some of them off. Only let me take this off here before I answer.
mal für zwei. So, it's 25. Maybe 20. Could it be 27, maybe? We'll see. Rest of goes a little profile tire. Last tire gives me plenty problems. Tight tire. Always you do demonstration, nothing works out. Really tight tire. Okay, I think that's 25 today. I think, I don't know, because I had. 19, 7, maybe 26, 25. Mm -hmm. Well, 8, I had 8. Yeah, I did 27. It's 27 we had. And we have 20 left, that was 47. Okay, that sounds about right. A lot of HMS here. They probably fill up a little red. Overload her, anyways. I would think. So we want to see what that weighs there. Out of curiosity. We can establish how long I've been doing this for. Oh, 846. That's it. So I did. Uh, I'd say about two hours, but that's taking taking valves off, taking lead off by hand, which are all the proper tools. It's gonna be like 25 pounds here. So I'd say 23 pounds. This is lead, dirty lead, of course, but I have to find a lead bucket, maybe something like this. I just wanna get a good load. That, just like that adds up fast put it somewhere over here find it no. we'll, we'll check in the other room over here maybe okay so we'll just continue here for now that's all the tires I'm doing for today and so I'll have to leave 20 for tomorrow should be able to do it okay so what I'm gonna do is gonna finish the rest of these cages off. Just because I don't make too much noise now. So I showed the van to my wife, she liked it. I took it for test drive and it drove awesome. Like really, really nice. better than the little red and the fuel economy is about the same as the little red the little red only says 18 18.1 uh, liters per 100 kilometers and that was like 18.7 basically the same I'm 
this will have to be driving a luxury or something bigger anyways a little harder to get around maybe parking lot Sister in law wants this table here. I said, No, I want this table. It's good for tools. It's only three cages. It's supposed to rain tomorrow or something, I think. They don't know. The weather changes every day here. They never seem to get it right. How you doing? Okay. My allergies are really bad, but I'm... Oh, yeah? How was your day? Not bad. Do you look at our venue? Okay, uh, they're looking still. Well, because she's picky, right? No, I like, I mean, today still? Or no, she's still looking for a venue. Okay. So, but, uh... Where do you get all allergies from? Seasonal. Seasonal? All these trees, maybe? I was just getting angry at my girlfriend, but like, she lives, you know, around the tree, so I think it made it work. Oh, yeah. I sound like I'm sick, but I'm not. I just have really bad allergies. Yeah. You don't feel anything? Not really. No, I didn't look at any today, but oh. tomorrow they will look at two. Nice. Dogs must be happy here, huh? huh? Dogs must be happy. No, I'm saying they, they must like the yard. Huh? They must like the yard. They do. So big. They really do. They're eating grass. So they can puke now. Puke the guts No problem. No problem.
Okay. I like to say it's boring stuff, but hey, you need to get tires out of here because with tires like that, you know, how to get rid of them. So, so once the process, they're gone, I don't have to but worry because, you know, if that yard says, hey, we want a dollar a tire or something down the road, you don't know if you change your mind or, I mean, the government pays for it, but, well, you, when you buy a tire, you pay recycle fee, but the thing is, you just never can tell. So I would tires like to get rid of them. I go out and get more. Well, I'll look for more eventually, but like the 17 inch ones are a little bit of a pain, but they cut off they cut off pretty easy actually. I had no problem cutting them. I must have cut away 15 tires and wheels with that Diablo. It was a 50 time Diablo, so I guess it's okay. It could be worse. That's probably the wave calling. This stuff will wait tomorrow, I just want to get Okay, just take it apart kind of borderline HMS but it's clean material okay we'll keep moving I'm gonna see if this if these are strippable somehow how it stripped these. Oh, so kind of a lousy blade. Hmm. My best if you burn burn them would be good, but it creates so much pollution and smoke. Hmm. The blade is so dead that's the problem. Such such small amount. Somewhere along here, it's going to be the end. Pretty tough rubber. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Here's all the brass here. I was going to take something apart, but what, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Something I want to do. See, these are, these are brass, actually. Here. 
you pull them these sets here, you lose one bit, then you're, you're screwed. You're buying a whole new set. That's what's happening. Okay, we're going to look at this here. sure if there's any I thought there's a brass in this thing I could be wrong there's no magnetic at all it could be stainless maybe cast in stainless I think it's brass, the brass color. This is stuff my brother in law found. He gave me a bunch of junk and I was part of it. It's very, very heavy. If I can strip this thing, I'll be happy. It's been sitting too long. Brush. Wire. It's copper. We have copper and a brass there. Trying to figure out how these come off properly.
steel, so it's all steel. Eliminate this so this not the Okay, eliminate that. So I think those are those are steel too. So these might be brass steel too. So it's just the arms basically in this here. And probably this thing here too. I think. Browning cable. I think this could be all brass. All brass. So if I get this off somehow. If I get this off here and it take that part. Oh yeah, nice heavy brass. This will be steel. Okay. Ah, so you get a heavy cast frame. That's why it feels so heavy. It's not the brass or nothing. I found one time 600, 600 or 700 pounds of brass post demo. It was all lamp pieces. I made a video and then I made some art out of it. I had like cherubs and stuff. I made some art. And one of my viewers wanted to buy it, but my daughter wanted it so bad I had to give it to my daughter. And I kept one piece. Okay, so now my wrist is sore, it's hard for me to hard for me to bend. Well I'm, I'm not forcing because I don't wanna try to baby it right now. That doesn't want to move. I do one, then I can get the rest. Let's try and get that, that one first. Cut this. There it is. One more. It's actually really, really heavy. This piece. You'd be very surprised how heavy that is. It feels solid. Wire is staying in, I guess. Wow, very heavy. That's brass. Wow, it's all brass. It's going to be a heavy chandelier. Even though it's got a heavy cast center. Yeah, so the hockey game went yesterday, huh? Edmonton could have had it, but I guess... Just don't know. We played okay, but 
We fumbled a lot at the last period. Edmonton Oilers. Just almost makes you think it might be rigged, uh just how they play so good and they can play crappy, just like Canucks who are played so good and all of a sudden did their team is dead. Like why do they get like that all of a sudden? How do you get the, these out? Only thing I do is if I cut it in the middle, I'm going to release the pressure a bit. Yeah. Exactly what it did, release the pressure. Let me take a few more off here. You've seen what's involved. There's not, nothing too critical, but... And then what I'll do is I'll weigh our brass up. I'll that up and see kind of what it weighed. Okay, hold on. Okay, this piece is actually brass. I thought it was iron. It was so heavy. One pound. Wow, this is... a yeah, money, money lamp. Or a chandelier. And you know what? I almost feel the throw it in the shred. But I said to myself, it actually looks pretty heavy. It just had a heavy feel to it. I thought it might have been pot metal. So I could have threw this in a garbage or a shred. Wow. Nine pounds. Wow, it's a $30 at chandelier. Plus, it's, um... 335 right now. It's actually 365 one time, but say it's 335. So 3.35. $30 right there. 30 bucks. Is that a joke? And my brother-in-law, he found it, but uh, I don't know what it was. It looked like a bunch of crap. So I said, "Okay, you owe me money. We'll take." 40 bucks off or 50 bucks off, whatever it was. I can't remember, but yeah, I'll front one mortar. That's okay. You take the mortar, I'll take the scrap. It was a couple lawnmowers and stuff. So here's another one. And I think it's a, it's a matching. It's the same same stuff. Oh, oh this is really heavy. Oh. It has some sort of cast on the center. center. Not sure what that is. That's steel. So basically the same, same material. So that is 9 pounds. This has got to be like 12 pounds. Okay, we're going to... Let me just give me a second here. I'll clean up here. I'm going to strip a little bit and just get it started. So I can figure out how it's built. Okay, hold on. You might as well just keep going together here because there's some weird stuff here that you know, I'm going to take it apart only once. You guys can at least see it a little bit. See it to appreciate it. So. It's half brass and half steel. So these things have to come off here. Got these weird crossbars here. I guess when they're hung up here, there's bars coming almost horizontal or vertical.
And let's get to strip these because it occupies, you know, like, I don't know, four or five square feet. I'm not sure how this goes. Cut it here. Just see, 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 looks like it's all brass. Except this little dowel here. Insert. It's all brass. So we'll just cut these like this here. We can just get these off. Hmm, it's only two like that. Weird. Okay. off here. Okay, a little bit of copper there. Brass. So it's good to have bolt cutters because you can cut little things off like just in seconds. See that? Especially little chains and stuff. I, mean, I, I think that would be stainless, I'm thinking. Grass. So where did that come from? Like this stem here? Hmm. Big ground wire. Number two low. Uh, it should actually be a little higher, but they only pay low. Chains, which is on the HMS. Oh, it's heavy. That's a pot metal, you can see pot metal there. Oh, this stuff's getting away. You better check that because you just never know. To get this out here. Need a good screwdriver.
See, it doesn't give me much room to do anything here. Even the intertwine here, so I kind of have to go this way somehow. Wow, it's, it's a big mess here. Doesn't help when your wrist is sore. I can only bend in certain ways, that's the problem. So I'm losing kind of certain bending motions. Try to take each side off here one at a time. It gives us a little, little angle to get in here. See, so yeah, something like this is you just kind of have to go as it goes. Everyone's built different, some are easy to get to, and they have proper tools when they're building these things. So I, I kind of have you know the scrapper tools, and the breaking most of stuff. A little wrench. Wrench would get in there. Okay. Okay. I just don't understand. I think you have to take it all around to get to the next phase, and then like, you know, work your way down. That's how it's gonna be, I think. I mean, these lamps could be worth, you know, two, three hundred bucks. Antique shows, like, you know, but... No, antique, like, antique malls, you usually paint them white or black. It's, it was a new thing, and then I, I think that kind of dropped out, too. But they painted them for a while. And people were starting to buy them. You know, things change. Stuff in the 70s, the 80s, 90s, no wants it. Then 2000s, people want something. Let me just go around, pull everything off... Get this one tear out of here first. Okay, hold on. Okay, pretty heavy here. Hmm. Wow. It's brass. It's hard to leave. So heavy. Okay. Get some of these out. That's like really glass. It like, looks like glass. Okay. 
It's all steel. I have to check that. Any chrome makes you wonder. So hopefully one will work. The right tools get more progress. Okay, we'll have to do is cut before we twist it. We're gonna cut it so it doesn't kink the line up. This could be could be pop metal this thing somehow. I think it's pop metal. Mm, it's heavy like brass. Okay. Imagine being on a semi line putting this together. They must have maybe a special tool, I don't, I don't know, because the electric tool does this, it's kind of a small area. Cut the wire so it doesn't kink, and then screw it. Pressed because a lot of weight here. A lot of weight. And for the time, right? I don't. I don't think they would buy this dirty. I'm. I'm not sure. Maybe they would. Dollar pound. Ninety cents a pound or something. But they would say maybe it's pop metal. You know. Let's tell you negative stuff. I mean, it's fun taking apart, so I'm not complaining. So this is the other arm. Same kind of routine. Put the wires. Do one more of this and then we'll tear it apart. We'll wait actually because you're seeing curl everything. And when I'm holding like this, I'm twisting air and it's loosening. So no real tools required. I'm pulling pulling one wire at a time, not two. 
But if you can't get old, you might have to cut in half. We're taking this off because that's steel. We'll do the one big one here. Looks like it's going to be a little bit tough. Oh, it came out. Okay. Okay. Let me clean the rest here. Clean the mess up. We'll weigh it up. I'm going to say 12 pounds. My guess. Of brass. The other one was 9. Okay, stay tuned. Okay. We teared it out. Oh, it'll be nice. Wow. I'm impressed. Big money. Fourteen and a half pounds. Wow. So, um, three point three five times one four point five equals <laughs> forty eight dollars for that lamp. Is that? I mean, that sounds crazy. Three point three five times fourteen point five. Wow, 40, over $48 for that. And then I had, um, 20 was the other one? It was 12. No, nine, nine pounds, yeah. It was 30. That's $78 in brass, just two chandeliers. Unbelievable. And we got just a little bit of this material here. Number two copper. And then this is some pot metal here. Wow, that's nice, and it stripped out in no time. No time's now 10.25, so we've been, we've been here for, while well, I was talking to the wife and doing things, so I'd say about 15, 20 minutes each, probably to be safe. So let me see. What's it? Bucket's like two pounds. 23 and a half pounds. Wow, nice. Let's say I had no brass, now I have brass. Well, I got brass everywhere. If you start looking at things, you know, I can start smacking these apart for brass. There's little connections here, there's pieces of copper. Brass is like it's everywhere. Brass, brass and number two copper is the most common. Number one is always tougher, tough to find. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I was very impressed. Very good. If the prices are high, it would have been about $85. That amount would have been close to $85. Price is a little lower. Could even be a little lower now, but that's okay. Whatever. No biggie. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Wow. Even this chain is brass. I just double checked it out. I was thinking I saw the chain sitting here. And I could see the brass color when I cut it. I'm thinking, wow, wow. I better check it. Three quarters of a pound of brass. Just in a chain. Didn't even know that. Added to it. Okay, guys. Have a great day.